Over the years, Spirit Halloween has sold so many great animatronics, but there's also been quite a few that have been bad. Especially ones like Johnny Punk, which, spoiler alert, he's in this video. There's also quite a few which don't really suck, but they are very faulty. So today, we're going to be looking at 8 different animatronics that I think are the worst of all time for Spirit Halloween, so let's get started. I've been waiting for you to come out and play. What took you so long? <laughs> So first of all, we've of course got Johnny Punk, which is probably one of the most hated spirit props of all time. To be honest, when I first saw photos of this guy, I was really excited to see him, but once I heard his audio and saw his motion and everything, it was kind of a disappointment. The audio doesn't really sound good at all, and then his motion is just so slow, and it's not really worth its $160 price. He does look alright, but just with everything else, this guy is definitely the worst prop of all time. Next up is the ghost scene, which does look alright, but this one is just so lazy of an idea. It's kind of like they made an animatronic, but without the animatronic. Like, imagine they made Gordo, but it was just a stand. That's basically what Spirit did here. And I'm not paying $75 for this, which I can basically just build in my yard with some rope and a piece of wood. And I don't know why Spirit would even bring this back for 2023, because this is one that no one has ever asked to see back. But this animatronic is definitely not good. <laughs> but... Not for long! <laughs> So this next one here is Morning Gory, and I know lots of people aren't going to agree with me on this, but let me explain why I dislike this prop. So this scene looks awesome, that face design, everything is really great, but I don't really love the jump scare. If you're shorter than the umbrella on this prop, you can easily see under it, and then if you're way taller than it, the jump scare doesn't really affect you. I wish it had a jump scare where the umbrella kind of popped up over the animatronic, I feel like that would be way better. So overall, it's not too bad of an animatronic, but just because of the jump scare, it's not one that I love. <laughs> Step right up. Step right up. So next up is Heckles, and I just want to start off by saying he is one of the best clown props we have ever gotten, but I am including him on this list because of one major flaw that got him recalled. And that is that basically every single person that got this, Heckles came with a deformed face that was way worse than anything we've ever seen. And with all the complaints and everything that Spirit Halloween was getting, they ended up just deciding to recall this animatronic. There are rumors going around that Heckles may return as an online-only animatronic, but I really hope they bring him back at least for next year so they can have him in-store like he was originally supposed to be this year. I dragged myself out of the tomb to find my skull and get my revenge and i will oh i will so next up we've got lost her way which this amtrax probably my least favorite from 2018. its audio is all right but just the look and everything of it is just not really my favorite I'm also usually not too big of a fan of the bump and go animatronics, except for the creepy own bear, which I really love. But this one for me isn't really too great of an animatronic. Oh, you can run, but you can never hide. Next up is an animatronic, which is a pretty cool concept, but this one is just so faulty. It's probably most known for the head, which is faulty, where the hair can constantly keep getting stuck in the motor and not really spin like it's supposed to. There's also been times where his audio just completely stops working, so with all these issues it has, it's definitely not that great of an animatronic. <laughs> Next up here is the evil clown, and this guy I'm including on the list because he doesn't really feel like an animatronic that should be sold at Spirit Halloween. It just seems like an animatronic that they'd sell at a place like Walmart or Canadian Tire rather than Spirit Halloween. His audio can also get a bit annoying after a while, and honestly, I don't really love the look of him. Go ahead, take a good look. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> The next one here is the Forgotten Farmer, and this guy is actually one that I own. I really love the look of it, and its audio is just so great, but he's also just such a faulty animatronic. His mouth is very faulty and breaks after just a few uses, and the main reason I bought him, which was for his audio, is not that good anymore because his speaker just broke. It definitely sucks for me that I have to put this guy on this list, but he's just so faulty, so I think he just has to be here. And now after that, that does conclude our list for today. I hope you did enjoy going over this list with me. A few of the animatronics, it did suck to put them on this list, but some of them are just so faulty that I think they deserve a spot here. I feel like it would be a cool idea for Spirit to look back at some of these animatronics that were really faulty or just sucked all together, and bring them back in newer forms that are way better and not faulty. But that is it, please make sure 
subscribe to the channel because it's my goal to reach 2,000 subscribers by this Halloween, and with your support, we can do that. And also join the Discord, which I'll link down below, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.